guys, it's Rachel. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another collection video, but this time it is not Miss Swift. It's her best friend Selena Gomez. I have loved Selena Gomez since the moment I heard Who Says. Okay, I can remember hearing it come on a commercial break when I was watching I think Jesse or Good Luck Charlie one of those times on Disney Channel and ever since I remember I have just loved Selena and these are some of the things that I've collected over the years. This is my merch collection. It's not nearly as extensive as my Taylor collection but I'm still so incredibly grateful for the merch pieces that I have. I personally love watching collection videos. It's so much fun. I am such a merch girly. So I decided why not show my Selena Gomez collection and give some love to Selena Gomez on this channel because I adore Selena Gomez. Like, I, my, my bucket list, I, I need a hug from Selena Gomez. Like, I need to tell her what an empowering soul that she is and how brave and strong she is. I truly could go on a rant about how much I love Selena Gomez and I, I, yeah, one time she answered one of my questions on um, when she was doing an interview and she loved my username because it had to do with Taylor and she went and yeah, I will never forget that moment like literally as long as I live. I, it was just like I need, I need to meet her. I need <laughs> to meet Selena Gomez but enough rambling but so one thing that I was stupid enough to donate because I grew out of the stuff was her Dream Out Loud collection. Now, my mom watches all my videos, so she can vouch for me on this one. We would always go to Kmart in the Kmart days and hunt for Selena Gomez's collection. Now, we would spend, I'm not gonna exaggerate, hours in Kmart looking for this and trying stuff on and I remember some of the tops I had looked like this and they were just the most iconic tops. That was my fashion statement. But as I grew older, they started to not fit me anymore. So I did donate those, but I can promise my my mom would happily vouch for me on that one that we did. We did <laughs> we did shop the Dream Out Loud collection and honestly, what an iconic time. I I would literally go into the clothing section and hunt for her Dream Out Loud collection and then I would go to the card section in Kmart and hunt for Taylor's American Greeting card so it was just like a Taylina fest. <sighs> but yeah, and I remember when she surprised fans when they were shopping for the Dream Out Loud collection and I was like, if that ever happened to me, I don't know what would happen to me. I have loved Selena for a really long time is my point. So. Let's get started in this collection. I'm just gonna start out with my vinyls. I have three Selena vinyls and I am so thankful that I have these on vinyl because I got my hands on these on Urban Outfitters and I they're really hard to find now apparently. So anyways, Selena Gomez and the scene when the sun goes down, okay, this is one of my favorite albums, I adore this album. This vinyl is white and purple. And I can remember being in the back seat of the car with my headphones in and this would be what I would be mouthing vigorously out loud. I'd be like, bang, 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 this time I win. Like, whiplash, like I, I love Selena Gomez. I am obsessed with her. This album is my favorite Selena Gomez album and one of my favorite albums in the history of music, okay? I don't think there's anybody out there that loves Stars Dance like I do. I am so thankful that I have my hands on this vinyl because this one resells for a lot and so if I had not been able to grab it when it dropped on Urban Outfitters, I fear I would never have been able to but this is what the disc looks like but what this album like lightens my soul I remember when she went on tour for stars dance it was when I was still in school and I couldn't take off of course I think I was in middle school at the time but 
I couldn't take off to go. I was devastated because Stars Dance is, like I said, one of my favorite albums of all time. Like, this, every single time one of these songs comes on shuffle, like, it just, it lights my soul on fire. Like, save the day and beat, write your name. Like, oh my god, there is not one miss on this album. I'm forever obsessed with Stars Dance. And then I have Rare. I love Rare. Selena never misses. Like, that's another thing about Selena is when she, when she puts out music, I'm not like, I wonder if I'll like it. No. No, 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 no. Like, I know I'm going to be instantly obsessed. It has some pictures on the back. And look at, like, look at, she's just, she's so cute. Um, and this is just a black disc, but this sounds really good on record. This is actually from Target, so if you love Selena and you're looking for like a cozy fall hoodie, but it zips up, like it's a, oh my god, you could wear this open and just have like the little Selena Gomez showing, but like wear a cute outfit underneath and just have like, anyways, I got it in a size up. It seemed to run a little small because I did try um, one on that was my size and it just seemed like... And the thing is, too, with my hoodies and my crew necks and stuff like that, I like them bigger personally. So I did size up in this, but it just says Selena Gomez on the back and then on the front. Like I said, it's the zip up and it says Selena Gomez. And I can't wait to pair this with like maybe like a white top or even like pull like green or like a pink top. Just wear my jeans and have this on in the fall. Like, come on come on I am stoked I need the weather to cooperate with my with my fashion wishes honestly because I am tired of putting on short sleeves every day like I am so ready to embrace my fall outfits so this hoodie is one of my absolute favorite hoodies that I always seem to grab out of my closet if I'm looking for a cozy hoodie it is the rare sorry the these are uneven um, I recently washed this and so they're a little uneven right now. So I know that annoys some people, but it is just this like cranberry color hoodie and it just says rare beauty. It's just very simple, but it reps my girl. I remember when they dropped rare beauty, like the very first time when they were like, rare beauty is coming. Here's the drop. I remember I was up and refreshing at midnight to get this collection and I to this day swear by rare beauty and I'm not just saying that because I adore Selena Gomez 95% of the makeup I wear is rare beauty so I I couldn't love a makeup brand more I love what it stands for I love the message behind it um, I love the creator of it I love the positivity that she puts into her brand and how beautiful she can make people feel. I just, how do you not love Selena Gomez? Okay, the next three shirts I'm gonna show you were actually from the Revival Tour. I got to see Selena for the first time at the Revival Tour in Washington, D.C. And let me tell you, my life was made. So I went crazy at the merch booth. I remember I saved up so much. I remember also when we knew that Rare Beauty was like coming, I was in between the Rare Beauty site and the Sephora site and I had stacked up so, so many points on Sephora. Like I was banking them for my birthday from, you know, if I ran in to get a lipstick, whatever it was, I was banking them and I saved them for this drop. <laughs> but anyways, going back to Revival Tour. This is my favorite picture. Of oh, it does not do justice in this. Hold on. Um, this is my literal favorite picture of Selena Gomez. She's drinking a little iced coffee and I remember <laughs> the shirt looks so weird. Help. Cause it keeps bunching up, but I remember seeing this and my dad was like, Oh, you need this shirt. Like it's so you, I remember at the Selena Gomez concert they actually had a Duncan and I was sitting in my seat listening to the openers drinking Duncan. So this was very 
full circle. I sat in like the little pantine chair with my Duncan. We took pictures and I, yeah, I don't wear this shirt very often, but I will never get rid of it because of how iconic it is. So there's that. <laughs> okay. And then I have the tour tee, which is just the revival tour tee. It looks like this on the front and then this on the back. Her set list for this tour was so good. Like, I really just could not be more in love with her music and her, like, in general. Like, it's just... Okay, this is my favorite Selena Gomez shirt that I own. So, it's just this navy blue shirt and it says S. Gomez and it says, Kill him with kindness. I adore this shirt. It is a size small. And I got it in 2016, so I've grown a little bit since then. But I'm obsessed with it, and I still squeeze myself into it because of how much I love it. Then also at the merch booth, I got the Selena Gomez Revival Tour bracelet. Remember the rubber bracelet days? <laughs> but I do have that. Never get rid of it. So then we'll go through my CDs. Okay. So I have Stars Dance, obviously. I got this when it came out. My dad and I took a nice trip to FYE for that one. Um, when the sun goes down, I banked my Target gift card to this. Rare, I have her, of course. Got her when she came out. Revival, I got her when she came out. Now, the thing about Revival is, Revival was very, very special to me because Revival came out on my birthday, and I remember before we had any birthday dinners or anything like that, I was like, I want to go get this album. And so, we went and got the album. I took a picture, literally like, next to it, um, and of course I bought it too, but can we just take a moment for Me and the Rhythm by Selena Gomez? And also camouflage like also I have Selena's for you album somewhere her CD of it I remember when it came out my mom and I hauled to Target it came out on a Friday and we went and got it on a Saturday I'll insert a picture of me with it here um, I don't know where she is right now she wasn't in my CD basket but she'll turn up um, but I promise I have it so then what do I show you? Okay. My prized possession. I got my hands. She put them on the site. I got my hands on a Selena autograph for Rare. And so I remember I was sitting in the parking lot of Plato's Closet scurrying to do this. But I got her. And she's beautiful. She's in this little CD case. I got the CD case at Michael's and I use them for like all my CDs that are signed. So um, keep that in mind if you ever need one. But it makes me very happy to have Selena's autograph. I am so lucky to say that I have an autograph from my faves. Like it's so special to me. I love that. It just seems so personal and it just it's so special I hope you guys know that right before I filmed this I went in my makeup caddy that's on my countertop to dig out my rare beauty stuff that I use every single day this rare beauty bag was given when I first got rare beauty and so I remember it came in a cute pouch it came so fast like I was instantly amazed by her brand so I've literally put everything in here and keep in mind, I have gone through many of these. I do not use any other eyebrow pencil except her Harmony brow and it used to be a gel, um, but now it's like a, it's like a precise pencil, but I was skeptical. I was like, oh no, they changed it unless they still sell it or maybe it's just like out of production right now. I'm not sure. I went to look for it at Sephora. They didn't have it and it wasn't on her site either. So maybe they went to the precision one instead. But I'm telling you, like, it still works the same. Like, and it's still just as fast. It's $19. Trust me, I know that by heart. 
So the first thing that I have, I swear by these are her matte lipsticks. Like they stay on all day. This one is Courage. This one is so great for fall. This one stays in my purse. I did go and yank her out for you guys. Um, I feel like I'm like trick or treating or something. This is Rare Beauty Inspire matte lipstick and it is such a beautiful red shade. It is so bright. It's so vibrant. It stays. It's, it's just everything to me. And then this one is probably the one that I use the very most. It is the Rare Beauty Nearly Rose and it is the lip gloss and I had Nearly Apricot and it ran out. It ran out and then when I went to Sephora, they didn't have the Nearly Apricot in stock. So I was like, okay, well I'll try the Nearly Rose. I'm obsessed. I am obsessed with this, okay? And I have Nearly Berry too. She's in my purse. Should I get her? I'll, sh I'll get her for you guys. I went and got her. This one is beautiful for fall too. Like, this one's not too purple, but it's like a really, really nice kind of like mauve color. It's, it's stunning. I truly recommend. Also, when I was <laughs> in my purse, I remembered I have a Selena Gomez keychain on, on my keys. So I got this off her site. I think it was when she had like a birthday sale or something, but there's my Selena keychain. Um, let's see see what I can pull out of my bag next oh I have my eyeliner the rare beauty eyeliner it goes on so smooth she's perfect I've gone through a couple of these have had to restock I have the rare beauty beauty blender which works very well it's best I feel like for blending like the highlight or um, I have never owned the rare beauty highlight I've only ever like tried it in like Sephora or something. I've never bought it and I feel like that's kind of a crime and I feel like that needs- Wait, yes I have! Wait, what am I talking about? I'm so goofy. I don't know what I was thinking. I really have no idea what I was thinking. I'm like giving- Well, she has like the, the highlights in like the um in the palettes kind of now and the, like the powder kind of containers. And I have the liquid. I think that's what I was picturing in my head. I'm like, wait, Rachel, stop talking. Um, but her highlight is beautiful. But what I was saying before I had the biggest brain fart possible, because I use that product all the time, like, what am I thinking? Um, I feel like this beauty blender works best for, like, highlight and kind of just, like, patting it. I'm no makeup expert, so if I sound stupid, I probably do. Um, but I do have... <laughs> And you can tell I've used her to death. Um, like, she's kind of, like, getting hard to, like, fish out stuff. Like, I probably need to replace her. But I have it in Enchant. And let's see. I am fresh out of this. It may look full to you, but when I tell you, like, it is very hard to get anything out. Like, she's she scraps at this point. Like, damn, I actually got some out. Uh but she is down to her absolute core. <laughs> uh, there is like very little left in this container, but I am shade 120C in Rare Beauty foundation. And when I tell you I have never ever had a foundation that looks so natural, but absolutely like is a perfect match for me. Yeah. Like, I don't wear any other foundation. I actually, like, refuse. <laughs> like, not refuse, but, like, I have no desire. Like, yeah. The oh, the blush went everywhere. Okay. Um, I need to clean this off now. I have the Dewy Lip Balm in Praise. This was one of the first Rare Beauty products that I ever got. And I love this one I'd say I use it less than like the other ones I showed you guys but she's still a hit I kind of like let's see I need to it's like when you go to Sephora and you start getting makeup all over you and you like yeah I feel like I'm gonna like touch my dress and it's gonna just okay be a mess anyways what else have we got in here we need to get this blush out because she is just okay 
this blush decided to say hello and if you have ever tried rare beauty blush you'll know that you need the smallest dab i'm not kidding you i put one little tiny dot like not like a huge dot a tiny and a tiny dot and it does the job i've never had to replace this and i've had this as long as the collection has existed so this is in the shade hope and i swear by it it's a daily product for me and like i said i have never had to replace it and get another one because it's just perfect this one was fun this one was because i was so obsessed with the products that i got originally from rare beauty that i had this express shipped because they didn't have this in stores yet and i express shipped this mm -hmm. this is a purple okay and it's in the shade daring it's in the um it's in the matte liquid lip but it's so pretty like it's so like creamy and like smooth it doesn't look too much it's just very 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 pretty and so she's very cute she's giving me lavender haze why didn't i use that lipstick for my oh. wow that was genius and then sitting on my lap i have the rare beauty brow harmony and i'm shade rich taup now this is what it looks like it's like the size and i can't even tell you how many i've gone through personally and this side is like the gel and this one's completely worn out like as you can i still use the gel side but as you can tell like i like i've used everything in this like she's not going up um so this is my last of this one with the gel and which is why I didn't throw it away because I still like to gel my eyebrows just so they don't move um, but this is what the new one looks like so it's the precision pencil for your eyebrows and I'm telling you like she's a little cheaper the only thing that she doesn't have is the gel and she has the brush on one side and the eyebrow pencil on the other side and I'm telling you my brows got so much better when when I discovered that product I remember there were a couple things I definitely wanted to try I wanted to try her lipsticks I wanted to try her foundation because before that I had never been able to find a perfect match and I remember that people were like starting to get like PR packages and people were raving about like how like good they were so I was like okay I definitely want to get one of those and then the highlight was a necessity for me and I am obsessed with it. I cannot believe it. I'm still sitting here like, why did I have that huge brain fart? I'm talking about like the ones that are like in in the like the powder looking container that opens. Um, I've never had that one, but I have the illuminating one anyways. Um, but then I was like, I really want to try the eyebrow pencil because I've never been able to make my brows look right. And my best friend Bobby has like the most gorgeous brows that I've ever seen. So I was like, I really need to up my game here. Um, so yeah, that that's my Selena Gomez collection. I definitely hope in the future maybe to collect more merch. And um, I love her merch. Her merch is so cute. It's so comfortable. I'm so excited for that zip hoodie. Um, but yeah, you guys, I love you guys. I love Selena. If you guys couldn't tell, um, I'm so excited to see what her next album is like. She really single soon, but music is coming and I'm so excited. She also said something about wanting to tour, um, maybe. And if she, if her health is right and if she feels like she is able to, I would love nothing more than to see Selena Gomez live again. Like it it is um that would be so full circle because i would probably see her with my best friend emma and emma and i actually walked right past each other at the revival tour we had this group chat and we walked right past each other because i was too nervous to talk to her and now we're best of friends isn't that funny but we both love selena is the point so if she ever tours again best belief we'll be there together but i love you guys so much thank you guys so much for watching let me know your favorite selena gomez song down below a couple of mine are 
Forget Forever, Vulnerable, Me and the Rhythm, literally the Stars Dance is so good like in itself. Um, let's see. My Dilemma. Ah! Guys, I could just list a ton, but we'd be here all day. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed doing this video for you. And again, it's never to brag. It's just to show you guys what I have, show my little stories. You know, that's why I'm here. I like sharing my life. And I hope this video entertained you in some way. And I sincerely hope I see you. Yes, see you in the next one. Bye, guys.